I think that is how you can direct person or guide this person the life of prayer. Okay. Ibo kusenga msho kwa magiti ranishe. Ara masenge shu kusengi mana pana kuchizu kwa tango kuza mitore. Okay. That is. Okay. Now, showing love to the person, right? This showing okay. love. The person is showing love to the person, right? Okay. Now, this is grace in action. That my life and my action, my words show love. That's grace in action. And then tell the grace of God. What is that? When it's telling, what is it? Telling is telling is what? Teaching. Is telling. Say with me. Telling is teaching. Saying, saying, telling them about the love of God is teaching. Okay. Let me say it again. Tell some truth. Tell. A truth to a person is teaching. Okay, let me show you how it's guiding. Guiding. Because this person has more, no motivation to pray. We want to guide this person to understand the importance of prayer. We can ask questions like this. Uh, how do you feel about God now? How do you feel about God? Well, he might say, uh, God is far away. God doesn't help me. And I will say, do you think it's true? Have you seen people being helped by God? And the person says, yes, I've seen people helped by God. And these people have good testimonies. But I don't. So I think God loves them, but God doesn't love me. And then I will say, do you think God would not love you? Have you received any help from God at all? And a person might say, yes, I have received some help. But sometimes I don't receive the help. So I think God is far away. And then I will say, do you think when he helped you sometimes, He's already showing you his love. Do you think it's possible for you to experience God like the other people? Do you think now notice that I'm using questions all the time? Do you think God will really wants to bless you too? But he might say, well, kind of, maybe. And then I'll find out too. Now, do you believe that your prayer will go to God? And have you experienced help in your prayer? The person says, sometimes I receive help, sometimes I don't. So when you receive help, do you think God loves you? Now, notice what I'm doing. I'm saying, notice what I'm doing. I'm guiding the person to think. the person to think. Is it true that God really doesn't love you? And also when you pray, is it true that God will not listen to you? Now, 
Now let me tell you, it depends on who you are talking to. Eh, bishingiye iterwa n'umuntu urimo gusengana nawe. Some people say, I want to experience the Holy Spirit. I can tell them right away that's teaching. But if someone says, I don't want to be filled with the Holy Spirit, then I could guide him step by step to have the motivation to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Do you notice the difference? And when we are accused, it's very destructive. For instance, if we say to the person, you will never be filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit doesn't want you. That will destroy his faith. Or if we say, you don't pray enough. So, so, so you won't be filled with the Holy Spirit. Have you noticed that the way you talk like that will have accusation? But when we listen to the people and guide them, do you think God will bless, want to bless you? Do you think God wants all people to be filled with the Holy Spirit? And step by step to guide them. Until when they say, yes, I want to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Then we can teach. Now let me tell you, what I just told you is very, very important. I have met many Christians, even pastors, who talk negatively. Criticize people easily without knowing it. And always motivate people by accusing. But, but notice how I motivate people. Do you think I will use you greatly? Answer me. Do you think God wants to use you greatly? Does God want to use you greatly? Can you answer to me? Yes. Does God write a great plan for you in heaven? Do you think you can enter the plan? Yes. What? Do you think you can enter the plan? Do you, do you want to enter the plan? How can you enter the plan? Now when you hear me talk like that, how can you enter the plan? Do you feel? Do you feel like you can enter the plan? Do you feel like you Do you feel like you can enter the plan? Do yeah, so this is positive encouragement by guiding, by guiding. Now teaching is like this. You have to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Now, now teaching also has two kinds. One is grace teaching. God, God wants to fill you with the Holy Spirit. God wants to use you greatly. You have a close relationship with God. You can be filled with the power of God. You can be used by God greatly. Now this is motivation by grace. This is teaching by grace. And then guiding is like this. Do you think God wants to use you? Is God looking for people who serve you? And does the Holy Spirit want to feel you? This is guiding. Now I hope you remember this teaching. Now, at this point, I can either go into teaching about the Holy Spirit, or we can practice. Do you, are you willing? Because this takes time to learn. 
Dero ku bijya nye numuka wera byo bitwara igihe kinini cyane ariko dushobora no gusubira mu bikorwa ibyo twize. Now first can you tell the difference? Can you tell the difference? Because I'm, I'm looking at the time. I can stop now. I can stop now and talk about the Holy Spirit. Or we can practice. Are you willing to practice? This is very important because the way you talk is going to convey grace or love for people or convey accusation. The way of practice is like this. Now you like to practice. Tomorrow then we'll talk about the Holy Spirit. Okay. okay. What you can do, are you willing? How many people are willing to practice? Raise your hand. Okay, very good, very good. What you do, two by two, the two persons, you know, the, with the person next to you, pretending one person is not willing to pray. Who doesn't want to be filled with the Holy Spirit? And you try to, so you decide who is who. One person is the one who guides. One person is a person who is not willing to pray. So you guide the person to see how important and how good it is to pray. Is that okay? Okay, so we'll do that in a moment. I, I want to say one more thing before we practice. I have they have questions there. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. So there are two things. Okay. Getting the difference is the problem. There is condemnation and accusing. So this they don't understand between because they are, they are like the same. Okay, it's not very important, but accusation is saying you are wrong, you did not do it. Pero kurega, nebu ngo, wowe uri mubi, wowe rugo senhani chumaze yukora ni vivigus. And condemning is like, you know, it's like saying that this person has, you know, is a condemned sinner, has no hope. Condemning will be saying something like this, I don't want to see you. I don't want to work with 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 you. you. don't listen to me. You don't pray. You don't love God. They say what they did not do, what they did wrong. Condemning is pointing to the person. 
I don't like you. Se hukuna. You have no hope. Habjiringiro. I don't want to work with you. Se shaka na kujenga na na. So it's like rejecting the person. Mr. Nimo kwa umo nuburundo. This is a condemned sinner. Ah, uyungu yu numunya bi ya wachi weiteka. It's more heavy. It's more heavy. Mr. Ito chochi na dimere chani. Okay. Now it's not very important. The distinction is not very important. But if you can tell the difference, it's good. Aiko, aku tak perlu faham. Itu anda kena mula diumba. Aku mula diumba. Okay, what what is this about to say? They are still confused. They are not getting it. Kamariza yiti ngoko ya bani yiti ngoko changu kwa ya bani yiti juu eh yiti juu mara nini tini ni makumi eh ni kwa tini makumi yao ni mara nani kuhusu chini yote kamariza kuzi ya kujenga kuni juu mara nini tini ni mbaku gani ni mara nini tini ni chini yote sinu bawa kimo kisha sisi alikuona mara nini kuhusu 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 mara nini Now can you use it? Okay, what did you talk about? What? Are you sure? That you say it, that accusing is meaning that somebody doesn't have love? Doesn't uh, doesn't have hope. No, no. Listen, accusing oh, yeah. is saying you have done wrong. I explain again. It's you have done wrong. Really? Condemning is like condemning the person, not just the action. Condemning the person. I don't like you. I don't want to see you anymore. You have no hope. This condemning the person. Accusing is just the action. You, you don't pray enough. You don't love God enough. Okay. Now let me tell you why is this important. I want to say that even in the church or in the family, very often the law is used in a wrong way in the church, in the home and in the church. And people are hurt. What they experience is not love from God. What they experience is that Christian hurt them. Point at them and hurt them. It's like a knife hurting people. And I'm showing you how to discern different kinds, different ways people talk. So we can train them to talk in the encouraging way and loving way. Do you think this is important? Many people change the way they talk to people. Their whole life is changed. Okay, now his question is also about this, right? What he asked. Yeah, okay, okay. I hope you all see, do you see that Many people don't understand the difference between how you talk, the, the law, right? Using the law. That you have hurt, you've been hurt many times. Is it true? You've been hurt by people many times? Is it true? Is it true? When Christians hurt people when they go outside, do you think they will bring people to Jesus? You know, for instance, they tell someone about Jesus. And a person doesn't believe. 
And then they will say, You're going to hell. Is he going to believe anymore? Or sometimes I, or sometimes a facial expression. The person doesn't believe in Jesus. <laughs> the, the facial expression is unhappy. Because we have anger inside. And we don't handle it. It comes, it comes out in a word in our facial expression. Can you see the importance? Okay. Now, next, let's practice now. Two by two. You, one person is the one who is not willing to pray or doesn't want the Holy Spirit. And then you try to guide the person to see the importance of praying. Now, let me make it easier for you. I demonstrate one time. And you try to do what I do. Okay, the person says, I don't want to pray. And I say, why don't you want to pray? And the person says, well, I think that when I pray, God doesn't answer my prayer. And then I'll say, why do you think God doesn't answer you? And the person says, well, because when I pray for healing and he did not heal me, so then I say, well, do you think that when God doesn't heal you, it doesn't mean he doesn't love you? Oh, when he went to uh, Galatia, when he preached the first time because he has sickness, and also Timothy, because he was sick often, then Paul advised him to take some wine. So do you think God doesn't love Paul and Timothy? And then so if he says yes, he loves him. But then I have difficulty and God hasn't helped me yet. And then I'll ask. Has God answered you sometimes? And he said, yes. And then, uh, in those times, do you think God loves you? If he says, yes, then do you think he continues to love you? So I'm answering the you know, asking questions to guide the person to think. So that the person see, you know, gradually see, yes, praying is good. That we guide him to see God has answered your prayer before. Even now, you have some problem God has not answered yet. Also, when you pray, do you feel peace? Do you think God is loving you? If He loves you, do you think He'll answer your prayer? Now this could be difficult the first time. Basically it's guiding the person. Okay. Do you think it's important to learn this?
Hello. Okay. Maybe I'll demonstrate once more. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Now, let me demonstrate in another way. Does God want revival to come to the churches? Now, I'm, 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 I'm using guidance now. Does um, God... You can answer. Does God want revival? Yes. Does, does God want to revive you? Yes. Does God want to give you strength? Does God want to give you strength? Can you go higher with the power of God? Does God have some powerful plan in your life? Can you give Him some powerful plan in your life? And does God will God give you strength to fulfill the plan? Does God want to give you God give you strength to fulfill the plan? Does God want to give you strength to fulfill the plan? Do you want to start entering the plan now? Does God want to give you strength to fulfill the plan? Now I'm guiding you all the way. Now let me ask you. Do you, do you really believe now that you can start to enter God's plan now? Do you believe that? If you don't Do you want to enter the plan now? Do you want to say to God now? I want to enter the plan. And God will, will God answer you? Now, so I'm guiding you all the way, right? So I'm I'm guiding you to think and to believe in God what God says. Okay. So now you practice two by two, okay? Okay. okay. You want to practice two by two? Are they keeping in one place? Or they... Just stay in the place and then you just turn. Okay. Now let me ask you one more question. Okay. Now let me ask you one more question. Now tomorrow I will talk about the Holy Spirit. And today if anyone want me to, wants me to pray for you, I can pray for you to experience the Holy Spirit more. Okay, now you just say what I just said to kind of person. Do you think God wants to bless you, want to use you? Do you think you can enter God's plan? Or do you think God will hear your prayer so kind to a person like that? Where are you? Okay, now you go out and find out if they're they just chatting. No, listen, listen to them what they say. Are they doing doing it? Are they guiding?
เคพ่ออยู่ตรงข้างไปโอเค now how many of you think you're doing that can you raise your hand if you're doing it ni ว่าเราไม่ใช่ person นี่เป็นสิ่งของเราเพราะเซนเอซ่ามุซา wow very good อ่ะนี่จีซ่า very good Okay, now I'm going to do this. I will say it. You say it after me. Okay, you say it after me. After you or after me? After you. Okay. So, um, for instance, uh, we try to motivate someone to pray. Has God answered? Has God answered your prayer before? Imana i Jesus suvisa amasenge shoyawo. Say, say. Movie suvire mo. No, no. Ah, na karu kweche visa. Mura suvira mo jomvuze. Imana mbere i Jesus mbere suvisa amasenge shoyawo. Did you see God's love when He answered your prayer? We Jesus won rukunda rukima na uke suvisa amasenge shoyawo. Did you see God is blessing prepared for you? We just wanna make sure you manna what you do. Are you happy with the blessings God gave you? We should make sure manna go high. Do you want to continue receive these blessings? Or shall we come as a party or make sure? Can you believe in the Bible that God will hear a prayer? That when God has given us His Son, He also gives us all things. Do you believe that your power, the prayer, has power? Do you believe that God is very happy when you pray to Him? Do you believe that God wants to bless you? Do you want to start to pray now? Okay. Now I'm going to demonstrate talking with your spouse. Now we can start seeing ourselves. I like to have better. I like. I like to have a better relationship with you. Say. Would you like to have a better relationship with me? Would you like to have a better relationship with me? Would you like to have a better relationship with me? Would you like to have a better relationship with me? Would you like to have a better relationship with me? How do you think we can communicate better? Nikute kwa safu kana nesu kwa vijenza nesa uta. And how can we love each other more? Nikute kwa rusha kwa rusha ukunda. Would you like it if I love you more? Nikukunda cha niku sabja chira nesa. Okay, so these are ways that you can talk to your husband and wife. And then now I'm guiding the congregation, and you can say after him too. Guiding the congregation to love God more. Okay, do you believe that God loves us? Do you believe that God loves you as a person? Do you believe that God can raise you up high? 
Wizera ko Imana yakuzamura mu rwego rw'ikirenga. Do you believe that God wants to bring some more people? Wizera ko Imana ashaka kuzamura abantu bose. Do you believe God has a wonderful plan in your life? Wamenya ko Imana wizera ko Imana ifite umugambi mugari ku bugingo bwawe. Wizera ko Imana ifite umugambi mugari ku bugingo bwawe. Do you want to enter the wonderful plan? Urashaka kwinjira mu mugambi uhambaye w'Imana. Urashaka kwinjira mu mugambi uhambaye w'Imana. Do you want to receive the power of the Holy Spirit? Urashaka kwakira imbaraga z'umwuka wera. Urashaka kwakira imbaraga z'umwuka wera. Do you believe that God wants to give you the Holy Spirit? Urashaka kwakira uwizera ko Imana ishaka kuguha imbaraga z'umwuka wera. Uwizera ko Imana ishaka kuguha imbaraga z'umwuka wera. Do you believe that your life will become better and better? Wizera ko ubuzima bwa buzarushaho kuba bwiza burushaho kuba bwiza cyane. Do you believe that God can use you mightily? Wizera ko Imana izagukoresha cyane mu buryo bukomeye. Okay. Now, so I encourage you to go home and try to communicate with your husband and wife or your friends like that. Pero over with your child. Ubwire n'umwana atari ku mana umwana wanje uratekereza ko imana agukoresha cyane Do you believe that you can become a great person? Wizera ko ubu muntu ukomeye cyane. Let me tell you, eka ngukire the way we communicate with people uko tuvugana n'abandi bantu it came from a heart to love people. Each person is very precious. He's very precious. You are very precious. That's why I believe you can change. And I believe in God. God can lift you up greatly. And I want the blessings to come to you. All this came from the love of God. To change my life, God has used me. And change how I see each person. Change how I talk. Change how I raise up people. Now, if you have that life. If you really know because of Uzima, you change your congregation, your members. But if you go to your members and say, You don't want to serve God. You're lazy. I want you to serve more. You have to give more time to God. Now, if we talk like that, it doesn't encourage people. But when we see God's love, and see the potential in people and then use you know that our words will show our love for them and then our words can change people now this can change the way you talk and preach now to, tomorrow and you know this Few days we have very important teachings. It's very important. Pero in this mitchaya, bafitini jisho sinjenzi zinjira mumaru. Now the first message this morning, I talk about the love of God. Aiko mujito no bere na vuze kurukuno rugi mana. And you like that? Kani jamu abi kunze. But now I talk about how to use it in our teaching in our life. No na hanga na kani ute kwa kresha YouTube jiji sha muzi mabgati. How we talk to people. This is harder. I hope you have the patience to learn. That I want to learn the secret how to live in the love of God to motivate people. 
It's not just for today. I hope you apply and then you can help your members. Teach your members. Mugafashana mu yobora.